there's a, a Dimitri Martin uh, image that I've used. I love Dimitri Martin. I, yeah. And it's like, it, it was, a, is he, I think he was like a, he was just, is one of his, is a book he had written. And there's, he does a lot of like drawings and, right. and stuff like that. And he talked about what's, what success looks like or what people think success looks like and what it actually looks like. So he has the first is just a straight line going right. forward. And the other one's like up and down. And I've used that image. I always give credit to Dimitri Martin. Right. And I, I do a little revamp of it. And I just change the word success with learning. And really kind of what does learning look like? And you, you mentioned this this part too. And we talked about this before the podcast. The, the misconception a lot of times is that it's either product or process. Mm. But it's actually both. And I think that that's really uh, powerful. And there's a, uh, I saw John Medina uh, speak at ISTE. Uh, and he's the author of Brain Rules. And he said something that has always stuck out to me. He said it was something along the lines of like content or, or creation without content is the equivalent of playing the air guitar. You might know the motions, but you don't know how to actually play. And it's like, it's kind of that, wow. build, right? So I, th I think that was like a, a really powerful connection because a lot of times, you know, and that's helped me because I'll work, especially at the high school level where, you know, classroom, let's be honest, classes are a lot more content heavy people are like, well, we got to teach this content. I'm like, yeah, I'm not saying don't teach the content, but what, right. are, what are people actually doing with it? Right. right. And I think that, that's kind of like the crux of the innovator's mindset is like, it's going beyond the, the notion of information, but what do you do with that information? That's really powerful. So like when you're, when you're talking about this, and I, I actually kind of want to focus on the process of writing the book. Right. right. So like, when you think about that, like when you're, when, when you have like, what, what's that big question that you're like struggling with? as you are thinking about like how do i how do i make this happen how do i make this book because I, th I think a lot of people would be interested in that i really just want to try to organize and make sense of everything that i've learned so far in my educational career and to be able to um you know find themes and patterns and really try to curate different information, um, strategies, tools, everything that I've ever learned and really try to make sense of it, chew on it for a little bit and try to, you know, put something out there that I can learn from myself and hopefully others will be able to learn from as well and just give them some different touch points to be able to reference and try out for themselves to see if it works. Um, so I have all these ideas that are in my brain and I'm just really just trying to make sense of it and hopefully I'll be able to, um, organize it in my own brain and make it make sense to other people as well. So, so here's, here's, and I, this is what I want to talk about this. Cause like, I, I think we, like, you know, I've written a few books and I'm kind right. of like listening to you. I'm like, okay, so what did I do? Cause I had the same issue, right? Like I had a ton of ideas and what I, what I first started doing is I actually, I know this is going to seem like really simple. I just made a Google doc and I'm like, what are the biggest, most important things I want to share in this book? Right? Mm. Like maybe it's a really important idea. Maybe it's important, uh, st like a really powerful story, things like that. So I just made a Google Doc and I wrote those things out, right? I just wrote, you know, kind of was just like a general thing. But as I started like putting the chapters together, uh, I would actually like say like, here's what I want to talk about. And then I would actually go look at that main Google Doc and say, where, what, which one of these things fits here, right? Mm. Like which one fits in this this topic, this this idea of what I'm, I'm sharing in the strategy. And I would actually, um, I would actually have uh like a, a a separate google doc for each chapter and i would just write notes i would just write notes here and there and then eventually i would actually just start writing and like look did i address this i do this and then once i like like put them in a chapter then i would actually go back to the original google doc and then i would just do like strike through text to make sure that and then i would like say like hey use this in chapter four use this in chapter five 